Hi, I'm Scott Smith, and I'm here with your Light Tech Light Tip. What we're going to go over today is one of my favorite light modifiers. It is made by a company called Lastalite, and it is called a high key. I'm going to show you four totally different ways to use this product. Okay, our setup for this shot is we're going to use the Lastalite high key. Now, when I fire it, it's going to pop white, completely white. Our other light in this shot is an Allen Chrome 500 using an Allen Chrome softbox. Okay, our main light on this is an Allen Chrome 500 watt unit with an Allen Chrome softbox on it. Now, our other light that's coming into our Elastolite high key is an Allen Chrome 500 watt, which when it's going to fire, is going to make the whole thing go completely white. Now, if your subject is coming out pretty dark, what you need to do is you need to take that light down. If it's producing too much light, it'll make your subject look backlit. All right, our settings for this shot is our shutter speed is at 1 25th of a second, our aperture is at F9, and our white balance is set to the lightning bolt. Okay, we're going to bring in our lovely model, Renee. Okay, Renee's going to stand right about here, hold just like that, and we're ready to shoot. Perfect, hold right there, one, two, three. Very good. That looks great. Hold it just like that. Good. One, two, three. Good. Get one in closer. Hold it just like that. Good. One, two, three. Very good. Get one more. Hold it. Yeah, just like that. Hold it right there. One, two, three. Okay. Hold it just like that. Perfect. Very good. Okay, now this is the second way that we can use this. We have eliminated our main light. The only light we have going on is this one right here. And we've turned our high key to a pretty severe angle. I'm going to show you why, because we're going to get something that's going to cause a really dramatic light. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have Renee. She's facing the box. So the light is going to come out and is going to hit her. Hold it like that. Good. Now it's also dropping off very quickly on the other side. Hold it right there. That's good. Hold it right there. Good. Good. From the hard angle, that's how we're getting it lit from the one side, although it looks like she's standing right up against a wall. That's great. Let me get one last one. Yeah, just like that. Hold it right there. Good. One, two, three. Okay, so what I've done now is I've taken our high key and I've put it to the front. It is now our main light and what it's acting as is a giant soft box. The Allen Chrome unit is put inside and into the middle of the high key and is shooting to the back of it and now is reflectively coming out to the front. So what we've done is we've made our high key into a huge soft box. Okay, this is the only light we're using in this shot. Now, since the light is coming forward here, it's going to start tapering off so our background is going to go gray. Like that. Perfect. Very good. Hold right there. Good. Good. Hold like that. Good. Turn towards me in this one. Yeah, I want to get a tight shot. Just like that. Perfect. Hold right there. Let me get another one. Turn, uh, turn a little more towards me. Yeah, just like that. Hold right there. One, two, three. Okay, this is the last thing we're going to do with the box. We're going to have it elevated like it is. The lights are being shot into both sides and it's going straight down. We're going to have Renee laying down here. We're going to photograph it. It looks really cool. Good. Hold right there. One, two, three. Good. 
There you go, perfect. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me see a smile this time. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Hold it right there. One, two, three. Good. All right, the last light high key folds down and fits into its very own small carrying case. All right, now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the last light high key. Okay, that's our video on the Lasolite High Key. Those are four cool things you can do with it. So, Scott Smith, the lovely Renee, remember, only use your lighting skills for good, never for evil.